Hi and welcome to another episode of PeaceMeg TV. In this quick tip for WordPress, I want to show you one method of securing your digital downloads. Now, if you're the kind of person that uses something like WooCommerce to sell digital downloads, the last thing you want is people to be able to access the URL and download those completely free. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can avoid that problem. So in this example, we're going to be looking at using WooCommerce and we're going to be taking a look specifically at the downloadable products. So these are digital files that you upload to your server, you make available for people to purchase. And obviously what you want is some level of security so people can't just share that URL around and people can just download your file. So the main reason for this is the fact that when you upload a file inside WordPress or WooCommerce, it literally just uploads it to a location that's accessible to anybody if they've got the URL. So they can just put that link into the address bar in their browser and they'll access your file. Like I say, that's less than ideal. And just to show you what I mean, I've got a product open in front of me inside WooCommerce. You can see it's a downloadable product. If I click to add a file, it literally comes up and says choose your file. We can click on there and then we can choose a file from our normal file media library. Insert that and you can see now that gives us the full URL which is easily accessible to anybody if they have that link. We don't want to do that. We want to have a way of bypassing that. So one way of doing this is to use a location that's outside of the root directory in your hosting account. So for example, whenever you set a hosting account up with something like GoDaddy or any other kind of uh, service provider like that, they're going to give you a username and a password and your file locations are going to be inside the public underscore HTML folder. That's the accessible location that people, when they go to www.yourdomain.com, that's effectively what they're seeing. Now we can get around that, we can go up one level and obviously this depends upon the hosting company. You may need to contact them and ask them is this possible. But as a general rule of thumb, if you're using a Unix server, not a Windows based server, this is quite easy to do. And it's very easy to figure out where your files are going to reside. So let's take that as an example and take a look at how we can do that and how we can sort of take the link that we need just by using some simple logic and then we can use that for all of our downloads to avoid anybody using that location. And there generally are a couple of things you're going to need to do this effectively. Most importantly, like I say, if you work on a Unix server, is the username for your account, because that's going to be where all your files reside on the server online. So, for example, you may have an account name, which is 123123abc. Then we're going to use that information. So when you log into your hosting account, this is what you'll normally see. This is the root of your folder on the server. You can see we've got a whole range of different folders and public HTML is one of those. So now we're sitting above the root directory for our website. So what we do now is if I create a new folder in here, and we're just going to call this one Downloads, and we click OK, that creates a folder above our web directory. Like I say, a web directory is public HTML. If we open that up, you can see there's all the normal WordPress files in there. So now that once we've created that folder, we can now go into there with our FTP software, open that up. And now if we put our zip file or our downloadable file in there, we've now got that file outside of the root location of our website. So we need to take note of a couple of things. We need to know what the file name is, and then we need to know what the path to this particular folder on the server is. Like I say, if you're unsure of any of this, recommend contacting your hosting company and they should be able to help you out with the relevant information that you need. So we've now got the basic information. So the next thing we need to do is take that information into our WooCommerce store and put in the actual location of our file. Okay, so we're back now into WooCommerce, back into our product, and we're ready to put in our downloadable file location. Now, because we're working with a server and because we're working with a relative address, we don't need to worry about putting the domain that we want to link this to because it's only going to be applicable on the domain that our website sits on. So what we need to do is put in the full path excluding the actual domain name. So in my example, that's forward slash home, which is the name of the server, forward slash 123123abc, my account name on the server, forward slash downloads, the folder we just created to put our files into, and then the name of the file itself. So what this does is it gives it the absolute file path on our server while bypassing our domain. 
I hope that kind of makes sense. Like I say, if you are struggling with anything to do with this, it's always worth contacting your hosting company, telling them what you're trying to do, tell them your account information, and then they'll give you this information specific to your account so you can make sure you're getting the right details in there. Once we've done that, we can then set any other parameters you want, so the download limit, download expiry, and so on. But once we hit the save or the update, that will now put that relevant file in there for us. Okay, so now that that's been done and saved, we basically put that file, made it accessible to anybody that purchased it with the relevant correct download link that will be supplied and masked as part of WooCommerce. But it means your files are outside of that easily accessible, easily shareable location. And there you go. That's pretty much all there is to it. I know it might seem a little complicated at first, but once you've got the basic information about your file location, then the rest of it is very, very simple. And like I say, if you are struggling, contact your hosting company and they should be able to give you all the information that you need to make sure that your files are both secure and hidden from sight. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content we add every single week. If you comments, questions, or feedback on this video, or anything else covered on the channel, please pop those in the comment section below. And until next time, take care.